Miles, apparently you have a nickname, the specimen. Can you talk us through it? <laughs> nah, not much about that. Just a few of the media team have a few nicknames. Kenny has a few nicknames for me and a few of the boys have nicknames, but don't get much of that, I don't think. What's your favourite? Nickname? Oh, don't really have one. There's too many. <laughs> but I'd, most of the boys just call me Miles or Bergs or whatever. So, nothing too special. Yeah, pretty boring. Hulk. <laughs> I don't mind that. Where did that come from? Did you get angry? Nah, uh, just coming back pre-season with a bit of size on me, I think. That's about it. Um, was that a pretty big focus for you? And then how did you go about achieving that? Um, not really. Uh, I was already pretty happy with where I was at, but um, it's good for confidence to be happy with your body and to feel strong. So, um, and I enjoy the gym. So in the off season, I do tend to go a lot, and but also focus on my running power and stuff that I'm already really strong at. Have you noticed a difference? This process? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, like I said, even just the confidence that comes with it, um, being able to back my body in and use the strength that I have now in games. Do you, do you see that? Sorry. Do you see that? Um, with Carl leaving in, in particular, did you sort of at the start of the pre-season really see that there was a, an opening and a, and a clear spot for you to, to try and put your hand up and grab? Um, yeah, I think it just gave me the opportunity to be more of a leader and sort of step up and own the role and um, sort of teach the younger boys coming through a bit more about the wing and just be a bit more of a leader on the field. It was a tough year here last year, just given some of the uh, it was you had at one point. I mean, what have you kind of learned about yourself from last year? Yeah, um, just the resilience that I sort of had to get through that. Obviously, had a shoulder reco, and then it got infected, and I had another one. So I had two shoulder recos at the start of the year. Uh, missed the first few games, and then came back. Was feeling pretty good, and then, like you said, got ill, um, and missed quite a bit of footy then as well. But just being able to stay connected to the club and stay positive about getting back, and just being confident to push myself and get back to the stage where I could play the last eight or ten games, or whatever it was, which was pretty proud of. Did you walk under a ladder or get knocked back out of something? What happened last year? <laughs> Must have at some stage, but yeah, no, nah, I was just trying to put that behind me. And um, I think this year, yeah, and this pre-season, I've just been really striving to get out in the track as much as possible and get a strong pre-season in and hopefully a strong year. Is it hard to overcome that mentally? It must have been frustrating setback after setback. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think my parents were probably more worried than me, but um, no, I got through it pretty well and good support here to help me through as well. How did you get through it, Miles? What, did you, what are some of the things you did to keep yourself sort of mentally fresh? Um, I don't really know. I think I'm, I've always been pretty resilient, so um, just stayed positive. Um, good friends and my girlfriend and stuff helping me through as well, really supportive there. Um, family came over quite a bit to look after me as well. Um, and then, like I said, the boys here are always really good. They text me all the time and checking in on me, so. And then to play the back end last year, and you've had a good pre-season this year, how much confidence does that give you going into another year now that you're physically ready, you're mentally ready, you've got a game under your belt? Yeah, a lot more confidence. Um, like you said, especially having those last, that back end of the year, um, going into off-season, pre-season, all fit and healthy, being able to do all the running programs, do my gym, come out in the track in pre-season for the first time in a few years. I think most pre-seasons I've been in and out, so this was the first one I've been properly out there, so um, I'm excited to see how the year goes. And what'd you get out of Perth, personally? Um, yeah, it's good to, like another sort of camp, I guess, for us as a team, um, being around each other and good connection space. Um, and then obviously the games is like a good learning for us as a team, trying new things and see where we need to improve. But um, I don't think that reflects on how we're going to go this year because we've got a lot more to show. Was gaining that bit of exercise particularly front of mind considering your injury troubles last year? Um, yeah, probably a little bit. Uh, it started with a lot of shoulder rehab, so I um, was in the gym a lot before trainings and even when I was in the gym just doing a lot of shoulder stuff to get that stronger and then from there it sort of branched to just getting overall stronger as well. How's the training been since you've come back from Perth for the group? Have you noticed like it's a lift in intensity or? Um, we've always been pretty intense trainers, train really hard. Um, we train how we want to play. So I think that standard's pretty much been set from the day I got here. And 
just a bit of more focus on things that we want to prove on instead of the actual intensity that we work at. What are some of the areas that you kind of worked on as a group since you come back? Um, yeah, just a little bit of method away from stoppage. Um, and our ball use going inside 50 can probably improve. Like, we have a lot of opportunities, but it's just how we make the most of those. So going forward, that'll be a bit of a focus. So you were together outside there, Miles and Kenny having a chat. Can you just take us inside that sort of huddle? What does he say to the group at the end of training? Um, yeah, just a bit of a reflection on the whole training overall, what we thought was good. We might highlight a few players that we thought were really good on the training track. Um, and then today especially, just a bit of motivation for us and a bit of um, connection, so a few gags and get everyone up and about for the year, the week. Is he funny? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's got some good gags. gags. He's got a few dad jokes, but he's got a good, good gags as well. Do you feel, given some of the, you know, the success that some of the high draft picks have had over the last few years and really start to build on, and, and you've just had the chance to show glimpses and then had it setbacks, do you feel any pressure to, to sort of try and live up to that feeling that obviously you know, you, I'm sure you know you can read? Um, I wouldn't say there's too much pressure because the club's been very good with me, patient and um, welcoming, but I put a bit of pressure on myself sometimes um, because, yeah, I want to be the best I can, so I might push myself to get the best out of myself and out of the team, um, but whatever happens, happens, and I'm just happy to be, be here and healthy. It's a brutal start for the team. Is it good to get these really tough games, I guess, First up, and you know, um, yeah, make I guess, you know, keep the ground running. I guess um, we've yeah, played those couple of really top teams. Yeah, um, I think that is a good start because it will show us where we're at and um, makes us pretty much want to push and try our best, um, which we do every week. But having that challenge straight up will set us a great challenge for the year going ahead and where we think we're at and how we can improve based on um, how we go. This way. Have you addressed it as a group at the start, given what happened last year? Um, not really. I think we did address it obviously last year um, going forward and end of last year, but this year we haven't addressed it as of much. Um, more just stick to what we're good at and play our game style. Um, we shouldn't be worried about what's happened in the past and just focus on now. If you, if you do get away to a good start, Miles, so you, you knock off a few of the really good sides, what do you think that'll say about how much work you've put in, what feedback will it give the players? Um, I think, yeah, it will just show that the work we've been putting in is working and we've just got to keep focusing on the things that we're good at, working harder on the things we're not, um, and just that, yeah, our off-season and pre-season has showed that we've worked our asses off. Away from um, footy, you were drafted in the same draft as Fisher, and you guys were teammates at the time, weren't you the juniors at Dan and Zara? Uh, Sandy. The S Sandy, Sandy, sorry, yeah. Sandy. Um, have you just... Out of away from footy, have you spoken to him at all? Have you touched base with him to see how he's going? No, I haven't been um, as close with him in the last year or so, but I was thinking about him the other day because um, we don't see a lot of it, but um, it's all behind the scenes. But it's a pretty tough gig, and a lot of players do struggle mentally off the field. So um, to have support network around is really helpful, and I know how he feels being away from home as well. It's always hard to miss family um, and then when you're injured or whatever it makes it even harder to enjoy footy so um, I'm just really grateful that I'm healthy and really enjoying my footy here at the moment. How's uh, Jeremy Finlayson going? Seems like he's come back right in the nick of time. Yeah he's he's moving really well. Um, it's good to have everyone out on the track at the moment actually. We've got no injuries anymore. Um, we had everyone out on the track today so that's a great plus and yeah it's great to see Jez out there again because he's a silky mover, so. Um, Josh, I guess what can we expect from him this year? I'm going to play the one AFL game last year. He's had issues, I guess, with his body a little bit. Yeah, what can we expect from him this year? Um, yeah, I think it's good, again, to have him out on the track because he's had a real tough year like me. Um, and I'm pretty close with him off the field as well. And he's just really excited to be healthy again and start training. So, again, today he was moving really well and um, he'll get a half this week. Um, off the back of his hamstring injury, so um, it'll be good to see how he moves and what he can show. But I think he's a pretty promising sign. The leadership, just like us, just the, yeah. the leadership stuff that you, you said you've uh, been focusing on. Was that something you sort of challenged yourself to do? It's pretty rare a 21-year-old with 30 odd games under his belt says, "I really want to be a, a leader 
in that space? Where did that come from? Um, I think a little bit was from coaches as well, um, knowing that like the wings are pretty hard spot to learn um, and we have a pretty young list that go through the wing as well. So like me and Xavier, for example, um, are trying to teach as many people as we can about the wing um, and obviously we see the stoppage on game day so trying to talk to those mids and tell them what we see and set them up as well so I think just using your voice in pre-season helps you build confidence and feel a bit more involved and like a leader um, so like I said yeah just knowing that wing spot and wanting to teach others a bit about it.